I get a lot of questions about my wood volume and the answer is under here. Hey babes, welcome back. For those who are new here, I'm Lida, better known as Wavy Deed on Instagram. And today I'm going to share a simple three product styling routine with you guys. I washed my hair and then I deep conditioned my hair with the Bounce Go Deep Conditioner. After that I put my hair uh, fully wet in a claw clip and then I wrapped my towel around my head. This is what my hair looks like in the towel, just a simple claw clip. Then I get dressed and then my roots are almost dry. This is how I achieve my root volume. Um, I don't style my hair on super wet hair with super wet roots. Not only will it take me a long time to dry my hair, but also will it weigh down my roots and it will look like flat around my face and I don't like that. So let's take the claw clip out. So this is what my hair looks like before styling. It's, mm, it's not really damp, but also not like very wet. But I'm going to use a foam, so I'm not worried about my hair being too dry because foam is water-based, so it will get water anyway. To achieve clumps, I'd rather pick a foam than wet my hair again, because as you guys know, I want my hair to dry as fast as possible. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the Bounce Curl Leave-In. This is the best protein-free leave-in on the market. There I said it. Yeah, this is so amazing. It's thick, very nourishing so you don't need a lot it smells amazing i cannot describe the smell it's like i don't know if they had a perfume of this smell i would buy it so i'm only going to use like this much i can add a little bit more if it's needed but we'll see how far we get with this always make sure you distribute the product on your hands first so you won't get any like parts that have leave-in and others that don't i apply my leave-in from the ears down Never to the roots, because again, it will weigh down my roots and I'm here for volume. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna need a little more. This this is the best protein-free leave-in that's out there. Um, my favorite leave-in with protein is the Curly Secret Protein Balm Leave-In. Um, for the people that need more protein, I switch between the two just depending on how my hair feels that day. What I do next is flip my hair over and start raking my hair away from my head. I hope you can see this. <laughs> Shaking at the root, making sure nothing is stuck to my scalp, and then just raking it away. Don't be scared that your hair will look a little stringy now. We're gonna fix it with the foam. <laughs> Other side. Whee. All right, so. You see already the root volume from just doing that? We are staying right here, so we're staying bent over. This is how I'm getting my hair styled usually when I'm not brush styling or using any other styling method with my hands. I am using the Flora and Curl foam. This is with protein, that's why I picked it, because my leave-in is without. If I would have used a leave-in with protein, I would have gone with the Pretty Curly Girl Flexi foam. I like to have at least one product with protein in my routine, so this is the one today. I'm almost out by the way, so I'm going to do four pumps and see how far we get with this. Again, flip forward. I'm going to glaze the foam over my hair and then scrunch it in. It's just easy, nothing difficult. Everyone can do this unless you have like back problems or maybe it's hard, but then I would recommend brush styling upwards while sitting up. So you won't have to break your neck and back. <laughs> Four more pumps on the other side. Same method. Glazing it over and then scrunching it in. Scrunching it in. So. So, quick question while I scrunch. Have you listened to the new Beyonce album? For those who don't follow me on Instagram, I'm a huge Beyonce fan. Huge. I've been a Beyonce fan since Justin's Child. My father bought me my first CD and it was a Destiny Style CD. So I blame my father for my obsession with Beyonce. <laughs> this is what my hair looks like after I scrunched in the foam. The foam added some moisture, some water. It gave my hair some clumping and some definitions. Now we're moving on to the gel. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go with the Florin Girl gel or the Pretty Girl gel. 
Um, this one has protein, this one doesn't, but I know this one pairs well with the foam. But so does this one, so I'm... I don't know. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with the Florent Curl Defining Gel. I'm gonna use just a little... Two, two and a half pumps. I am not a fan of using a lot of gel. I feel like adding more gel weighs my hair down and I make my wash days not last. So if I use a gel, I just use little and people are like, oh, why do you use little gel? Well, that's why. I just feel like my hair doesn't need a lot of hold. I also like more lighter hold gels um, because they make my hair last longer. I don't know why, but it, that's how it works for me. <laughs> Same position. Making sure the gel is well distributed over my hands. And then just glaze it over. And then scrunch it in. When I scrunch my hair, I also flip my hair from side to side and also to the front again. Because if you keep your roots moving, you will get more root volume. So this routine can easily be done with any other products. Like you don't have to use these products to get these results. I could have gone with different products, but today I chose these. Okay, now we're gonna flip back up and scrunch it a little bit more. Make sure the back also looks good. All right, so now my hair is fully styled. I forgot to tell you that I pick my part in the shower. I part my hair in the shower the way I want it to fall. And then I put my hair in a, in a claw clip and put the towel around. I feel like if you pick your part in the shower or right before styling, it will stay there. It doesn't matter how you shake your hair. Because you see, I shook my roots while I was applying my leave-in and the parting is still there. All right, I'm going to diffuse and I'll be right back. Um, Quick thingy. While diffusing, I just start pixie diffusing right away. Um, I don't have a diffuse anymore because I felt like it gave me less definition and less volume. Um, if I get some more like damp spots on my head, I will have a diffuse around here, but that's it. Also protect your ears because you don't want to have like tinnitus because you was diffusing too much. <laughs> so I am done diffusing. Um, there's hardly a cast. Uh, I will fluff my hair a little bit and scrunch out the little bit of cast that there is, but my hair is almost fully soft, so there's not a lot to scrunch out. Fingers in my roots and shake. Very easy to do. And it just finishes off the wash day. And I'm done. So as you can see, I have a lot of root volume, um, but it's still defined. It's not like super stringy or straight in some places. So yeah, I'm happy. This works every time. Swap your water for a foam. Make sure your roots are already a little bit dry before styling and you'll get these defined voluminous results. If you have any questions about this routine, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next week. Got my Beyonce shirt on. So I cut my nail. My hair gets stuck, but I don't want to like cut it off because it's now so nice and long and strong. Tips are welcome, by the way, about broken nails thingies.